Hi guys, this is Melissa from Chocolate Covered Chopsticks and thank you so much uh, for tuning in. Welcome to my first Master Cleanse update video. Um, we're going to be talking about my first 10 days on the Master Cleanse. Uh, ongoing, I will be doing daily updates, but I wanted to get through the first week or so to make sure that I was going to stick to it and make sure that you guys would have some content. Um, ongoing. I didn't want to promise anything that I couldn't commit to. But where I'm at now is we are about 10 days in. I started my uh, master cleanse at 181.6 pounds. We're now at 169.6 pounds. So great news is I've already broken the 170 mark and I'm down about 12 pounds. Um, so I'm super stoked for the weight loss results. In terms of what I'm seeing with my body, um, I'm definitely seeing my tummy uh, flatten, my, my tummy's going in as well. I haven't been measuring, I didn't want to get crazy with the, the numbers focus uh, because for me it's more about being on this consistently for the 40 days and also getting to a place where I can complete the full 90 day plan that I have for myself. Uh, if you're trying to figure out what that is, uh, check out my uh, first 90 days video. But basically we're going from master cleanse to um, green juice cleanse to soup to then hopefully doing some raw vegan. And Kevin and I are gonna get on a path to being a vegan four days a week. And uh, just having a little bit more moderation and balance in our diet. So I'm, I'm really excited. Um, like I said, already getting the results in terms of how the first 10 days went. I am not going to lie, they were tough. Um, the first uh, three, I think three days of the cleanse uh, were extremely rough. I would say day one was actually fine because I was excited and the lemonade, if you haven't had it before, it is maple sugar uh, plus lemonade, so it's really heavy and for me, that was enough. Um, day two um, was also okay. Day three was when I started feeling hungry, um, really hungry. And I'm also cooking every day. Um, and so that, that makes it a little bit more challenging. By day four, I decided to cheat a little bit um, and have uh, some of the, um, the hot pot that we had cooked. And so uh, let me back up just a little bit to say I am taking supplements on a daily basis and we'll do a video about that later, but I allowed myself at the onset of this a little bit of avocado. So I said, okay, if I'm hungry, I'll have some avocado. And then day four, I made hot pot and I said, well, steamed bok choy isn't so bad. Steamed cabbage is not so bad or boiled cabbage. So let me do a little bit of that. And I, I was good. I didn't do the avocado and the cabbage. But um, having that cabbage destroyed me. Um, I ate it on day four. I was really happy. But day five, I woke up full. Uh, and, and something that is really, I think, important on the master cleanse is that you are taking, you're having your salt water flush in the morning and then you're getting that lemonade in your body so that you can stay full and you're getting it in at like consistent pace throughout the day. If I don't do that, then in general, I don't even want to eat or I just won't execute well. And so day five, I woke up full, didn't have my lemonade, had my lemonade at the end of the day. It was a horrible day. I was so hungry. And I said, there's no way I can have cabbage again, um, which is a little silly because um, with an extended cleanse like this and with the fact that I'm also doing yoga, I think having something like steamed vegetables is probably a, a better idea, um, even though it doesn't stick to the actual like master cleanse, exactly what you're supposed to do. Uh, so net, uh, day five was torture. Um, day six uh, was again uh, kind of rough. I was like forcing myself to get back on it, be consistent, not chicken out, um, not wimp out because I made a mistake. Um, again, I'm not really hungry. So I, I knew for me it wasn't about um, hunger per se, it was just more about like not really having the will to make the effort. Um, and, and right now this is so important to me 
uh, because I'm, I'm trying to get my health back on track. I'm trying to get back to the activities that I love that I just didn't want to quit. So, so Nat, uh, <laughs> we got to day seven. Um, by day seven, um, we were good, but I wanted to challenge myself and try for the cabbage again. So I did do the cabbage and ultimately I was able to control it and get back on my lemonade the next day. Um, so since then I've been good. I would say in terms of, I'm sorry, that's my cat, <laughs> if you hear it, but in terms of um, how I've been feeling, I go up and down with energy. Right now I have a lot of energy and I feel absolutely amazing. Um, but there have been a couple days where I've definitely just slept. Uh, it's, it's, um, I, I am lucky right now to be working from home and managing my own schedule, but I know that not everyone can take a nap midday, but that's what I've been doing to kind of get through it and give my body what it needs uh, to feel good. Um, in terms of symptoms, uh, I have had a couple different symptoms. Um, as I've gone through this cleanse, I definitely got the coated tongue. Um, I have one day where I just smelled weird. Um, I was in yoga and I was like, wow, you smell just strange, um, which was interesting. And um, I broke out. So my face is getting slightly better now, but um, I, again, I'm doing this. I'm not sure if it's the cleanse or the Bikram yoga, but I started getting like a heat rash that just stayed for about three days. And so um, I've been, you know, moisturizing and, and just upping my water intake. I think that was the problem. So now I try to have a half a gallon um, of, of water before the Bikram yoga. I, I didn't start the Bikram yoga until about a weekend. So I'm, I'm only a couple of days into Bikram, but I'm trying to work it out. And, um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the one thing I can commit to is I will make these updates short and sweet. Um, and then as I keep going on, because it'll only be one day, and um, I'll add a, a little bit of a body shot here so you can see kind of what I'm rolling with. Um, okay, so this is what my body looks like today. Do, do, do. Make sure you can see this. Check out the back. I'm officially, you can see my little cellulite here. And get a close up of my tummy. There we go. And I'm officially 12 pounds today. Um, one of the big things I'm seeing is this coming in here. You can see it more in the back on the sides, thanks to the yoga and definitely um, less stomach fat. So I'll post a little before picture so you can check that out. Awesome. But thank you so much and have a great day. Um, and check out the before and afters, subscribe, comment if you're doing a master cleanse or a green juice cleanse or any type of cleanse, I'd love to hear from you. And thank you so much.